Brianna here with TMDSAS and I've got some no stress app tips for you. Maybe you've submitted your application already uh, and you uh, have received your notification email that your application has been transmitted to the schools. Yay! What now? Well, as you go through and review that PCR document, that prescribed coursework report that lists um, your prerequisite coursework split into the areas, you'll see there that um, you may have a deficiency, which just means you're deficient a certain number of hours from what is required uh, by the team ESAS schools. Now, if you see this, um, there's no need to panic. You just have to figure out uh, why that deficiency is there. It could be because you have courses um, that you have yet to take. Uh, so if they say NY for a grade for not yet reported, that just means you don't have the grade yet because you haven't taken the course. Um, and so then that grade can't factor into the hours required, even though it is listed on your PCR. What will happen is once you have a grade for that course, um, then your deficiency will resolve and then you won't see any deficient hours listed there anymore. So you can just kind of factor that in as you as you look at um, what plan courses you have that are listed there on that PCR document. Now, if you don't have planned coursework to take and you are showing you as deficient um, on the PCR, it can be for one of two reasons. First reason may be because uh, you have a grade in uh, taken for one of those courses um, that was below a C. You haven't taken that course again to get a better grade. If that's the case, then that deficiency will remain um, until uh, forever unless you are um, retaking that course for a better grade. The other reason may be that uh, you do not have enough coursework in the prescribed areas there, um, whether it be biology, chemistry, whatever. So then that is what you will see is that you may be just deficient based on the fact that you don't have enough course work in that certain area that's counting towards the prerequisite requirements. There's a couple of things you can do if you are deficient in one of those coursework areas and you have a course that you believe by the definition, uh, the definitions listed in the TMD SES coursework guide, you believe that they should count based on that, but they aren't being coded uh, as biology, chemistry, etc. Um, then you can submit a, a course appeal and we will look at that course. And you can find instructions for that on the TMD SES website.